I want to know about the latest procedures available for feet. I heard about a toe lengthening surgery. What is that? That was Rosie from Louisville, Kentucky, and she asked a great question and here to help us answer that and give us the latest info on procedures is our good friend, foot surgeon, Dr. Dr. Ali Sadre. Welcome back, Thank Dr. You. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. And so I'm going to throw it out there. In that tape piece, there were some funky looking toes. Yeah. <laughs> We've talked about toe shortening Correct. on this show before with you. Now we're talking about toe lengthening. Why would you need that? Well, there's two major problems for toe lengthening that we address. The first is a genetic problem. It's called brachymetatarsia. So you're born with a short metatarsal, and that's one of the major bones in the foot, and the toe is short. So there's a procedure to fix that. But a very common problem that average people deal with, unfortunately, is a complication from a traditional toe surgery. So if you go in for a hammer toe surgery, the traditional way that it's done is we actually cut a portion of bone. Uh, you can see from the patient that that is a result of a complication from a short toe. So I can so, show so you. So tell us what a hammer toe is Okay, first. so a hammer toe is when the toe is too long and you either put your foot in a high-heeled shoe so it gets jammed up. We've talked about this before and it gets jammed up and it creates a contracture that rubs and it causes pain. So what we do is we actually either shorten or straighten the toe. And the traditional way to do this, we'll demonstrate here with Dr. Orton, is you take this toe and you cut a portion of the bone out. So we're actually going to cut this portion of the bone, real surgery here. I trust them here with that saw. I won't slip, I promise. A little oops. And so once we cut that portion of bone, this portion right here, the head of this phalanx is taken off. And then the toe is straightened and shortened. Now the problem is, when we fix that, we put in traditional techniques, a wire to hold these in place. So what you can see here in this model is the wire is holding the toe in place in anticipation for the next step to occur, which is fibrosis. Like fake bone forms there. So Basically this is like when a bone breaks and it and it cures itself, you you're allowing it. that process to take place. The healing exactly. process. Exactly. So here's the first toe, here's the surgical process, and here is the patient supposedly six or eight weeks after surgery. The yellow represents that fibrosis, okay? Right. So this patient is fine. Now here's the problem. Many years after, this fibrotic tissue starts to contract and the toe starts to shrink and the toe starts to shrink, and the toe starts to shrink. And that fibrotic tissue just disappears, it wears down. And so the patient presents to the office many years later with a short toe. And they go, I had surgery done many years ago, and now my toe's short and I'm embarrassed to wear shoes. This is a problem that most foot surgeons deal with, and it's an unfortunate kind of expected complication. So I decided to create something new. So a standard surgery to lengthen the toe would be uh, unfortunately, it doesn't exist. <laughs> so what we did is we created a new procedure that involves a custom-made implant. And this is basically addressing a complication from a traditional surgery. What we do is we carve it out for the toe necessary. So here's the short toe the patient presents to the office. What we do is we make an incision. Now, this is very important. You have to consult with your doctor because there are possible complications from the surgery. You have to have adequate blood flow because you're Absolutely. lengthening a short toe. You can't be diabetic. You can't have significant issues with your, with your physiology. So once we make an incision, we do it cosmetically. We cut the incision on the side so it's invisible. We actually lengthen this toe by cutting it. So we place this implant. It's custom manufactured in the procedure between this section that's basically shortened and lost. Now what's important about this is the fixation technique. We actually tie this to the bone so it holds it in place while the patient heals. So the idea is we lengthen the toe. Now this isn't something that we want to do on the patient. Ideally we want to do a hammer toe procedure that prevents this contracture, which are some of the newer procedures we've mm -hmm. talked about. And, ma and maybe the best thing in the world would be to prevent hammer toe in the first place. That's ideal. I mean change the kind of shoes you wear if you can. Wear peep toe shoes if you have to wear high heels. Unfortunately women have to wear high heels in certain occupations. Mm -hmm. So shoes that don't rub on the toe, don't cause a hammer toe. You know, wear uh, maybe a half size larger so the toe's not being jammed back. So the and first symptoms of hammer toe, you're going to start feeling pain in that joint. Mm -hmm. And so that's when you need to say, time out, yeah. 12 hours a day in my high heels, we've got to cut back. Yeah. This can happen, which is just unacceptable. So, so great options, Dr. Sutter. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much, you as always. We appreciate it.